What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection Top Picks 2019, Braun Strowman. And so here we have Braun Strowman posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. Braun Strowman here does come with two pairs of hands. He does come with a pair of fists so you can get these hands. And then he also comes with a pair of wide open grasping hands so he can grab you with these hands. Braun Strowman also does come with a modern Money in the Bank briefcase which is the same sculpt we've seen in the past just with the green deco that it is now. He also does come with a breakaway double base which he can hold but it is kind of heavy so it does make his hands here a little bit loose. Other than that Braun Strowman doesn't come with anything else. Don't know what more you would want. Maybe bigger fists because his Fists kind of look tiny, but anyway, with that out of the way, guys, let's move on to his details. So here we have a better look at Braun Strowman, and Mattel has done an incredible job with this figure. Every figure that they release, every wave gets better and better with the face printing technology, so I do actually enjoy that. This is a really good update to Braun Strowman. Now, if I do have one complaint, I still want to see an angry expression where he's not smiling, he's not roaring, he's just angry. That's something I really want to see Mattel do at some point. But it looks a lot like Braun Strowman and the face printing technology is getting better and better with each wave, so I do like that. His beard is this really nice dark brown. Uh, on, if you go to the back, you can see they didn't miss some of the paint on the back so that's a little bit of a bummer but overall they did a really good job with his beard really like the head sculpt and then you can see they did his ponytail although they didn't color his hair by band that's a little surprising that they didn't color that the last year's top picks Braun Strowman did have a colored hair band moving on to his torso he is using the same Braun Strowman torso that we've seen numerous times with Braun Strowman it's okay for back in the day however Braun Strowman has leaned up so there is a torso that I wish that they would use for Braun Strowman because this is a little too big on the fat side for Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman isn't fat anymore. His tattoo is done really nicely I do like that. Again we are missing the Superman tattoo right here but that's because it's copyright and they don't have the rights to Superman emblems. We only get one half of his tattoo here. Surprised they don't actually add the powerlifting tattoo there. Maybe it has to do with copyrights as well. We do have his tattoo on the back of his arm. Although it's not the best because you see part of it is actually on the inside of his shoulder. So that's one thing I wish they had taken into account when doing that. And then of course his country strong tattoo right here on his the inside of his bicep looks good. We do have his black wrist tape, which is done really well. Do like that. Moving his arms back in. The only difference in the torso for this Braun Strowman is that he does have the Monster Among Men emblem right here on the back of his shirt. Again, there's a torso I really want to see them use with Braun Strowman. So hopefully the next Elite Braun Strowman they do update it because this is kind of outdated already. His pants, same pants we've seen with Braun Strowman, not the best range in articulation, but they do have a decent sculpt to them. You can see his belt is done really nicely. You can see the buckle is painted cleanly. Really do like the different shades of brown going throughout his pants. We don't have an emblem on his back pocket anymore, which I guess is fine. It really wasn't that big of a deal. Some camouflage motif there. We do have some patches on the back, which have that same camouflage motif on the back and there is sculpted detail in there so I do like the fact that we do get some sculpted detail on this. Just would have liked to see a little more paint on it. Again patches are done really nicely so that looks good. Going down to his boots we do have the green and beige boots now rather than just the black boots. Really wonder if they're going to update his actual legs because Braun Strowman doesn't wear these 
tall boots anymore. He kind of wears like ankle boots and then his pants come down even lower. I wonder if they're going to do something like that in the next release for Braun Strowman or if they're just going to stick to the status quo. My money's on, stick to the status quo. So there's really not much to say about Braun Strowman. It's pretty much the same figure we've seen in the past. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get and compare to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have Braun Strowman posed next to an elite Brock Lesnar and a basic Jeff Hardy. Here we do have Braun Strowman posed next to the fan central Big Show. And this is the torso I really want to see them use on the next Braun Strowman. It's leaner and he can actually get his arms down to his side. So fingers crossed they reuse this for Braun Strowman. But anyway, this is how he compares to the Big Show. And finally, here we have the top picks Braun Strowman posed next to last year's top picks Braun Strowman. And you can see exactly how far that face printing technology has come where this was last year's model. This is this year's model or last year, however you want to see it. So with the comparisons out of the way, guys, let's actually go on to his articulation now. He does suffer from the exact same issues we've seen with Braun Strowman figures in the past. His arms don't go down any further than that, so they're sticking out to the side. Again, would like to see them use a big show body for this. His head only looks up to about that far, so it's not that good. Doesn't look down because of his beard. Uh, very little head tilt, unfortunately. Uh, doesn't really turn left and right again because the beard gets in the way, so really limited head articulation there. Shoulder joints do work fine. They do go out horizontal, but they don't go all the way in, so that is an issue. He kind of has to stand like a baby, unfortunately. Arms do go all the way around, and you can get his arms all the way up, but again, can't get him down to the side. We do have a bicep swivel, which works no problem. Single bend in the elbow, giving us 90 degrees. We do have tiny fists, which I want to see bigger fists on Braun Strowman that do rotate fine. And then they also do have a hinge on them, so that works okay. We do have a torso joint here with Braun Strowman. Does go back about that far, goes forward about that far. So we go from that to that. So really not too much movement, unfortunately. Waist swivels just fine. Legs kick forward only to about there. Sad, but yeah, go goes out further than you would think, but still really limited on the outward movement. Thigh swivel up high. Double bend in the knee. Does have good range despite having these baggy pants. We do have rotation at the boot. We do have hinges in the ankle, which you go back and forward. And then we do have rocker ankles. Now, unfortunately, on mine, his left ankle, or right ankle, is kind of loose. So getting him to stand, he has a tendency to fall over sometimes. That's a little bit unfortunate, but it is just going to be figure to figure. So with that out of the way, guys, let's get him posed for my final thoughts. And then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the Elite Top Picks 2019 Braun Strowman posed for my final thoughts. And overall, he is an okay figure there's really nothing special about this Braun Strowman figure now they did reissue this exact same figure in the Elite 68 series I believe it was the SummerSlam series I really wasn't a fan of that the, the fact that we got the exact same figure in both the top picks and the standard Elite series I just basically held off on getting Braun Strowman until he was at a decent price. I was lucky enough to get this Braun Strowman from Amazon. Now, when I did purchase this Braun Strowman from Amazon, he was $10. Now, ever since he won the Intercontinental title, they did raise his price to about $24. If you were lucky enough to get Braun Strowman for a really good price, I think this is a really good figure because... It's an updated Braun Strowman. It never hurts to have updated figures, but I really want to see them do something different with the next Braun Strowman elite figure, especially slimming down the torso and giving us better articulation and bigger fists to get these hands. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, comment, um, comment like, subscribe to my channel, do all that good stuff. Don't forget to check out all my other WWE reviews. And all my other action figure reviews. And as always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. 
While you're at it, don't forget to check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Be sure to hit the notifications for all so you never miss one of my videos. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.